Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I cover missing persons, unsolved cases, crime news, and more. It's sad that today is, it marks two years ago, that Madalena Kojakari was last seen publicly getting off of her school bus. We do have that video of then 11-year-old Madalena Kojakar getting off of her school bus. This was November 21st, 2021. But her family didn't report her missing for weeks. Her disappearance and the search for answers has puzzled both police and the community ever since. WBTV's Mary Calkins live this morning at the Cornelius PD. And just to clarify, it was the 21st of 2022. And now, Mary, you're walking us through this timeline from when we last saw her. Yeah, that's exactly right, Mary and Alex. Now, police here with the Cornelius Police Department, they say they have been working diligently since she disappeared. I want to show you Madalena's picture here outside the police department. Like you said, she disappeared two years ago in 2021, excuse me, 2022, just before Thanksgiving. Now, Madalena, who's now 13 years old, was not reported missing until three weeks after, the, after she was last seen getting off that school bus. A school resource officer at Bailey Middle School went to Madalena's home after she stopped showing up to school, but no one was home at the time. The school counselor then tried to set up a meeting with Madalena and her parents, but when Madalena did not show up for that, that set off red flags and sparked a police investigation. Her mother, Diana Kojakari, and her stepfather, Christopher Palmiter, were both arrested shortly after and charged with failing to report the little girl missing. Diana Kojakari pleaded guilty on that charge. She has since returned to her home country of Moldova. A jury then found Christopher Palmer guilty, and he is now out on probation, but still no answers on where Madalena is. Now, according to the Cornelius Police Department, their number one suspect in this case is Diana Kojakari. Uh, again, she has returned to her home country of Moldova. And Diana is the main suspect. It is believed she may have passed uh, Madalena off to someone else for money, potentially a family member, someone else. And when she was released from jail, she was basically living on the porch and then outdoors for a good period of time before she returned to her home country. Now, uh, according to search warrants that were unsealed in 2023, um, they had stated that Madalena may have been spotted on surveillance cameras over on Sugar, Mount, Sugar Mountain on December 16th. 2022 um, photos that they were able to find showed a child and a man and were physically consistent with Madalena's appearance and her only blood relative in the United States, Octavian. An unsealed warrant suggested that Madalena's mother had seen her after the November 23rd date that she stated that the girl went missing. However, according to that warrant, uh, mom indicated in a text message back on December 2nd of 2022 that she was in the presence of Madalena. On December 4th, 2022, mom Diana traveled toward the mountains in North Carolina claiming to be searching for her daughter Madalena, according to warrants. Um, and mom was stated uh, seeing getting an oil change at a shop in Hickory, North Carolina, and the attendant servicing her vehicle did not report seeing uh, a missing girl. Local, state, and federal investigators were a part of the team searching for Madalena Kojakari, and both the girl's mom and her stepfather were initially charged, as the news uh, piece stated, with her disappearance, and they had both since been released from jail. I I don't believe that Christopher knows much. I wondered about his trip um, during that Thanksgiving to see his family to get things, possessions and what have you, but I really believe this is all this is all because of Diana. Uh, I and I hate to say it, but the law enforcement has already put it out there that they believe Madalena is a victim of trafficking. The sad thing is, it may be her mother who put her in in that locate in that place. So she may have sold her to God knows who. So she could be back in Moldova. She could be still here in the United States. She could be anywhere. Which is why we all need to continue to share Madalena's uh, posters, her photos, and uh, 
make sure that you know everyone knows who this girl is because i i personally believe that she's still alive i'm, I'm hopeful that, that she's still alive and that one day she will be found and uh, it's a sad sad situation that we now hit this two-year mark and all we can do is hope that you know she's safe somewhere but as we all know if she's trafficked that's a uh that's uh, definitely gonna be tough and here is the latest update from the cornelius police department chief of police good morning my name is David Balkum, and I'm the Chief of Police for the Cornish Police Department. Today marks the two-year anniversary of the disappearance of Madalena Kojakari. She was last seen getting off her school bus on November 21st, 2022. We just want this community and the public to know that we have not given up on this case. We continue to work it just as hard today as we always have. Uh, we understand that the community wants more information and we want to be able to share more information, but this is still an active and ongoing investigation, so there are certain details that we can't release. We have invested thousands and thousands of hours investigating this case, following up on leads, uh, trying to use any and all resources we can to find Madalena. Earlier this year, her mother, Diana Kojakari, pled guilty to failing to notify law enforcement that Madalena was missing. Um, she was released, time served, and upon her release, uh, we were able to make contact with her and interview her several times. But unfortunately, it still did not lead to Madalena. Uh, a short time after her release, she did return to her home country of Moldova. Uh, at this time, she's free and clear of any charges here in the United States. And we continue to try to communicate with her in her home country. Uh, her stepfather, Chris Palmer, was found guilty by a jury of his peers. Uh, he has appealed his conviction, and that process is still working its way through the court system. Uh, we just want this community to know how much Madalena means to us, uh, this agency. Uh, this case started about a month or so before I took over as the chief of police, and it has literally consumed me and this entire agency. We continue to search for Madalena, and we won't stop until we find her. I just want to make sure that we thank our partner agencies uh, that have been so involved, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigations, and really all the other law enforcement agencies that have just come together and helped us in our search for Madalena. Thank you all and have a great day. I'm very, very thankful for the Cornelius Police Department. They have been extremely dedicated, as well as the other agencies working with them throughout these last couple of years to bringing Madalena home and solving this. And uh, I'm, ho I, I'm hopeful that they are able to communicate with Diana, but as we all probably believe, that's gonna be easier said than done. I'm sure she's trying to avoid as much as possible in regards to Madalena, uh, especially since she didn't report her missing for three weeks. So I'm gonna share some of her photos, some of Madalena's photos, as well as uh, her missing posters uh, to close this out. Uh, let's keep her name and her face out there because someone knows where Madalena is. <laughs> 